Well, hi there. I want to um, record a quick video um, about this new chess engine that's being uh, produced. It's called LC0. Uh, you can find out about it um, at the LC0 website, uh, lc0.org. And what it is, is um, back in December, Google uh, and their AI lab, DeepMind, um, released a uh, paper talking about a chess AI that they had built using their supercomputers, um, which was stronger than anything that any computer had done up to date. And it was very exciting, and uh, there were um, 20 example games given, and those games were really beautiful in the way that some of the chess was played. Sacrificial attacking chess is really exciting to see. But that's all we got of it. Uh, we only saw um, those 20 games. So um, and no one had access to it. No one could play against it. No one could do any preparation. No grandmasters were able to get to it and do some, do some work with it. Um, so the chess community, I think, was left a little bit um, poorer for that. Uh, we know that this technology is out there, but we can't get to it until now, because LC0 is an attempt to uh, use lots and lots of different people's computers to replicate the same thing. Um, so on here you can see, I uh, hope you can see, let me just check, yeah you can, you can see this roughly. You can see that um, over the over a period of lots and lots of games, we're over a, one, one and a half million games, uh, this engine has been playing itself uh, on lots of different um, computers around the world. Um, down here, you see the active users, the people who've been contributing to these games lately. Uh, so it's been playing against itself and learning how to play chess well based on that. It's very complicated. I don't properly understand it. But you can see it starts off playing basically random moves and it's given itself an ELO rating uh, purely based against itself. So it's obviously not as strong as, strong as, uh, as 4200 in the real world. Um, you can see it's been slowly getting better um, and it's, it's kind of little bit plateaued at the moment. There are some development issues, I think, that, that slightly caused that. Um, and the latest one has just been released, um, which has been a slight improvement. So, so lots of work's going into it, and it's getting better and better. Um, and I want to show you a game from this uh, computer, because, well, I really want people to know about this, so that they can come onto here, and so that they can uh, learn some more about it, so they can contribute. It's quite easy if you've got a Windows computer to hook your computer up to it and just donate a little bit of your processing power uh, to make it happen, to make it go faster, uh, to get it better faster, and then everyone can use it. And um, and the, the thinking at the moment is that maybe in about a year or so time, based on the number of games that are being played at the moment, uh, then there'll be a chess uh, engine called uh, LC0, which is Leela, Leela something, Leela Chess Zero, I think. Um, there'll be a chess engine that is um, that is as strong as Alpha Zero uh, that was released last December. So on with the game. So this is a game that I've got here in Lee Chess um, of Generation Twelve here. So this is the twelfth version. So a really early um, early version of um, of this chess engine, and this is a pretty pretty uh, nice. Uh, nice game it had against a version of Stockfish 9. Now Stockfish 9 was nowhere near playing at its full strength. So this isn't Stockfish 9 at its full strength at all. Uh, but it's a game that, um, that this new engine, LC0, won. Um, and it won in quite an interesting way. Um, so let's just have a look at the game here. Um, it started H4, taking some inspiration from uh, Simon Williams, the ginger GM, uh, pushing Harry. Um, Stockfish played the more sensible E5 and then um, <laughs> and then LC0 back with E4. So let's just skip through a few moves. Bishop C5, D3. Uh, brought the Queen out, a bit unusual, I guess. Um, offering Bishop exchange, Bishop moves back, and Knight comes in. Fairly, oh, not a normal, normal opening, but the moves vaguely make sense. Uh, it comes over to Queen uh, B6, eyeing up this pawn here and also this pawn here. So what happens here? He ignores both of it, or she does. I think we call Leela a, Leela a she. Uh, so Leela ignores both of those pawns, but so does black. You can still have his choice of AC. Uh, 
And again, Stockfish, this is, this is, by the way, this is the Stockfish analysis. So same engine as was playing the game, uh, but this is at a much stronger strength. It thinks that it's up about the pawn, which is probably right. Um, but the new engine plays knight d2, uh, still ignoring this pawn and this pawn. So Stockfish gobbles up one of those pawns. And a slightly unusual looking g3. Um, I'm a bit puzzled as to why that's supposed to be. Um, it doesn't make any real sense to me. Um, so you get these kind of moves when uh, these new computers are, are trying to work out how to play chess. It saw g3 in some position somewhere, or it saw this kind of move before this pattern, and for some reason it decided it was a good idea. Um, but it loses 0.7 of a pawn according to the Stockfish, so let's see what happens next. Knight f6. And now we start attacking uh, the queen. I think that's the point behind the engine's move. I mean, it's a bit of a weird retreat, um, but that's its idea. Moves back to queen uh, b6, and eyeing up that b2 pawn again. But it's often known as a poison pawn, that b2 pawn, and we'll, we'll see, how, see what happens soon about that. So this knight now moves to uh, d2, and the queen gobbles up the pawn. So uh, black is up material, uh, up two, Pawns, two pawns, yeah, otherwise it's all the same. Now, a, a2, interesting move. Um, I think the point of this is to enable this rook to come over here and not have this gobbled up. I think that's I think that's what it's thinking here. Castles, and the rook comes there as uh, expected. Queen retreats, and now another slightly odd moving looking move here. Um, again, can't really see any point to that. Looks to me like, um, oh no, it can't because there's two pieces defending it. Two pieces defending it, not, not the one. Um, may, maybe it's just preparing for some kind of kingside attack with this rook here, thinking that it can get its queen out somewhere over here if it moves it a nice way. Maybe it's maybe it's seen something like that before and it's trying to copy. But as you can see here, Stockfish, minus 2.7, so it thinks it's almost almost a whole piece up. Knight moves out of the way, and queen moves here. It's building, um, building a, <laughs> a trap, basically, for this, this black queen here. Slowly restricting the number of squares that it can go to. You'll see that becomes quite relevant later. Knight comes out, black's making sensible looking moves, and now here we come, c3. Now let's look at where the queen can actually go here. Uh, it can't go anywhere down here. Uh, it can't go here. Here, here, here. Um, it can gobble up this pawn, which is what Stockfish wants it to do. So uh, that looks like its only option. Oh, it can come here. It can come here. So there's another safe square for it. Um, but it takes up takes that pawn like Stockfish things. Now Stockfish has changed its mind. Uh, it's actually this move here. It's actually this knight c6 that made it change its mind. Uh, it looks fairly innocuous, you think you think knight developments is a good idea, but uh, no. The rook comes here, restricting again the queen. The queen has to move here. Now let's look at the squares available now. Uh, the, this is not available, this is not available, this is not available, or this, or this. Um, this is okay, uh, that's okay, uh, that's not okay, that's not okay. So you can see there's just two squares now and the one that the queen's currently on, where the black queen can go. Let's see what happens. Aha! Now the bishop is attacking the queen, and there's now just the one safe square for the queen, up on b6, where it goes. And this starts a little tactic. In comes the knight, uh, and the queen comes here, and the rook now takes away that one remaining square where the queen could go. The queen has to move back up to here, in line with this bishop again, and you get this exciting tactic. Uh, you get knight takes e5, attack on, attacking the queen. Queen moves. Knight moves back again. Queen moves back, only square. Knight takes this one. Queen, well, you see what Stockfish now wants to do, just wants to take the bishop, um, trade the knight and bishop for, for the queen. And, and cut its losses. 
uh, but the thicker stockfish that this is playing uh, keeps moving it back here. The knight moves back here, the queen has to come back. This time the knight comes around this way. It wants to move the knight here and just uh, throw away this piece now. Um, it's given up on its queen altogether, stockfish. But the thicker version didn't, because uh, it didn't see that knight comes into d5 now, and the queen has completely run out of squares. You see, everything is covered here by a white piece. All the squares the queen can go to are covered. Um, and so now it finally does go for this knight takes uh, d4 idea. Um, we need a little bit of, of material back when uh, White's thinking about this queen. So it takes queen, knight takes the bishop, and the king comes up. Pawn takes knight. And now you can see stockfish nine um, running at full, full uh, quality has changed its mind. <laughs> uh, or it's, it's uh, showing now that White's got this huge edge because of this uh, white queen uh, that it is up by instead of uh, what, one bishop. Let's quickly go through the rest of the game. Uh, it's not really very significant from here. Um, I'll just click through it. Um, it's fairly fairly sensible chess in general. It's all kind of makes sense. Um, you know, stock, stockfish is still trying to do things, lining up for lining up this black uh, black rook against the king, seeing if it can make something out of nothing. Um, one thing you notice when you're watching these games um, from this engine is that it really loves pushing pawns, really loves, um, loves you know, pushing pawns at any possible opportunity with white to gain space, generally. Um, anyway, let's keep on going. Offering trades, which is fine. White's up. Still got the queen. Uh, king's perfectly safe here. There's nothing much that's really going to happen. I guess this rook can come here, here now. I think it does. Um, but there's nothing, it's not leading to anything here. Now Stockfish says 53 points ahead, guaranteed win for White. Uh, let's just watch it play out here. Um, White just slowly gets the checkmate on the back rank in the end. Uh, with Queen takes E8, a 46 move uh, win for LC0, leader chess 0. Um, this is an early version, of this is generation 12. Um, which is out quite a long time ago. We're now up to, which version is this? Uh, I'll have a look over here. Uh, we're now up to version 62, which is the second strongest so far. You see, it took a little um, nosedive briefly. Um, that version, uh, well, I think I, I think I understand that that's actually version 55. This is slightly complicated, but I might be wrong. Maybe it's 56. Um, it's just a little bit behind at the moment, but it's been, been learning more through these times. Um, and going back to this page here, um, it's on an upward curve. So what I'd really love you to do is, if you're a really good chess YouTuber, if you're really good at making these kind of videos, because you can see I'm not, and analyzing these games, have a look at some of these games and see, uh, see the quality of them. Otherwise, I'll probably try to do some more um, of some of the, the later games from LC0 where you'll see it's really improved and it is a strong engine now, apart from the occasional blunder. Uh, it's probably around 2000 ELO um, against other engines now. So getting stronger, no near full strength stockfish yet, but um, getting stronger and it's not been learning for that long. Um, so if you are a YouTuber or if you do this kind of chess stuff, please get the word out there and um, do some analysis of these games. It's quite fun, quite interesting. You can run the engine yourself uh, you can contribute by um, giving um, giving this project some of your computer power. I'd love you to do that. Um, and you can find out all about how to do it at lc0.org. And the one other thing I think you can do, if it's not down at the moment, if you go to play.lc0.org, um, in theory you can play a game through, uh, through this on the web. Um, better that you don't just download it yourself. Contribute your GPU or your CPU. Uh, so graphics unit or your even your CPU, which is what I'm doing. Um, you, can, um, you can donate that and make this chess engine faster, uh, quicker, sorry, better, quicker, um, which would be really great to see. Uh, but it would be a great tool for everyone um, to play against this a lot more human uh, kind of chess machine, um, but that's still really strong. So I um, hope that's been interesting and um, check it out, lc0.org. 
Thanks very much. much.